Hi, in this video, I will add some basic debug capability to the RISC-V RV IMAC FPGA project I built before. The functionality of the debug module is based on RISC-V debug specification version 0.13.2. But instead of implementing a full debug spec, I just built a portion of the spec for my own needs. Based on GNU debugger and OpenOCD, I like to have the following debug functions be implemented. First, display and change register values. Second, display and change memory contents. Third, set program hardware breakpoints, minimum four breakpoints. And no software breakpoints supported. And four, single step. This is where I left off the last time. With this diagram and its FPGA implementation, I was able to boot to OpenSBI, but the on-chip FPGA logic analyzer is just becoming too limiting for further debug work when I want to move further on the project. So this is what I've added for this update. Starting with a debug host PC, I have GNU Debugger and OpenOCD as the software debug tool. Then I have this transport hardware, in this case, a JTAG interface that talks to the debug transport module inside the RISC-V core top. Both the debug transport module and the debug module makes over 95% of the overall debug functions for the RISC-V core. The debug transport module handles the JTAG protocol from the host and talks to the debug module as well. The debug module handles most of the debug decision-making and traffic, and in turn talks to the RISC-V core. And this slide just shows what protocols each module handles. Please bear in mind that since I'm only implementing a portion of the RISC-V debug protocol, the debug module state diagram is also simpler, or much simpler. Before we start the debugger demo, there is still one decision we need to make. The debug transport hardware, or the hardware interface we're going to use. The options are many, I've listed just three here. The first is the JLink hardware. This JTAG hardware works, but we'll need a window USB driver to make it work with OpenOCD. I've put a link for the driver here. The second is a generic STM32 discovery board. It has a two-wire SWD interface we could possibly use. But this turns out to be too much trouble for me. The third option is a generic STM32 F103 development board. There is some program you can download to it, and it will behave like a JLink interface, or aka JLink OB, this third option is what I will use for this experiment. For the demo, I will use a simple program like this. I will set two breakpoints in the program on the red dots in the listing. Then I will do a single step after the second breakpoint. More details I will explain during the demo. First, I will bring up OpenOCD. And this is the device ID I mentioned. OpenOCD will print more message uh, when it sees this. The other thing is I did not implement the program buffer, so uh, even though it gets the, this warning message, but it still works. Once the setup is done, OpenOCD will listen on the port 3333 for the GNU debugger. Next, I will start GNU debugger. Once the connection is done with OpenOCD, um, you can see that on the target monitor. Now I will do an info register to display the register content. I have the registers initialized in such a funky way that I know exactly where those numbers are coming from. The registry can also be individually displayed and set.
Now I will do a program listing in GNU debugger. Then I will display the memory content at address 0. This is actually the program area and the content is upcode at 0. Now I want to set two breakpoints as I mentioned earlier. And then do an info breakpoints to view them. Now I will continue the program execution and it will stop at the first breakpoint. This breakpoint is also at the entry of main program, so I will also check the memory content before I continue. Now I will continue again and it will stop at the second breakpoint. Time to check the register and memory contents to see if they are as expected. The two memory contents are affected by the two store instructions. Now I will change the memory content for the last step instruction I'm going to issue. and single step. Now check if the new memory content is read back into the register. And it is. This pretty much concludes this demo. Until my next update, thanks for watching.